What's up, everybody? Ben Reza here for Odd Chopper. I am back. It is Christmas Eve. Happy Sunday to everybody. Of course, December 24th in the sports world. Not a ton going on. It is a full NFL Sunday. But other than that, you know, college basketball takes a mini break. NBA takes a break. We're here to enjoy the holidays. We're also here to find a bet and put it on the board here at Odd Chopper. I want to welcome you to Odd Chopper. All things betting. We've got you covered for these NFL games. When NBA gets back, of course, NHL, whatever you want, we've got. Take a look around. Subscribe to the channel. We're on a great run of college basketball. So what do I do in my a real genius over here? I start betting college football bowl games. No more. I can't do it. The portal is just killing everything. I have no idea if that's why San Jose State no-showed last night. But regardless, wasn't even close. Uh, we take that L. We move on. It's still been a good week. We're 4-2 and two on the week. We want to put a stamp on it, make it a 5-2 and two week. And that's what we're here to do with Sunday night football. I go to Sunday night football give you my favorite bet from that game each and every week. We've got the Patriots. We've got the Broncos. It has moved to seven and a half basically everywhere. Uh, you know, if you get that around even, you know, plus 100, it's fine. Or you can find the sevens. You're going to have to lay some juice. Uh, minus 120 right on my screen. Let's talk about this game. First of all, it's a 35 point over under. So we know points are at a premium. Uh, and when you're laying points and points are at a premium, it's always a little dicey, but I absolutely think that we can and will get there in this game. Let's talk about these teams. All right, the New England Patriots. I think we all know it's not good. Uh, three and 11, they're a mess. They've got nothing going for them. They might have the top pick. They're just they're just bad. Uh, yes, they did show up in a game against the Steelers that I still don't really understand what happened. But other than that, it's been a pretty rough year. And furthermore, they are banged up. Hunter Henry, nope. Juju, out. Stevenson, out. Jabril Peppers. Out, lost a key lineman. They've got about five guys on the defense that are sporting Q tags. They better hope that they all play because the offense is decimated. I do not think they're going to have any success with Zappi. Uh, all his main weapons are not going to be there. They're going against, you know, a Denver defense that at times has shown up. It's in mile high. Not an easy spot for New England. Points are going to be at a mega premium. We might be able to get this across the line with 17 points, 20 points. From the Broncos, I think I might sign for that, to be honest. I don't think the Patriots are going to have much of any success today. You could look to an under on a team total, even though it's a very low number uh, for them. Now, the Broncos, 7-7. Seven and seven. It's it's a hard team to gauge. They were just destroyed by the Lions. Also, their third straight road game. They have not had a home game since November. A late November, but November nonetheless. Uh, Low-scoring game, as I mentioned. They want to run the ball. This is this is the interesting wrinkle of this game, and I think that's what's going to decide our fate. So the Broncos, I don't think we'll have a ton of success. Nobody can run on New England. New England has a lot of problems. Run defense is not one of them. Every metric you look at, they're basically top of the board there. But everything else, they should be exploited. You can get these backs in space. You've got three of them. They can catch passes. And certainly on the outside, you do have the weapons. Now, will Sean Payton dial it up? Will he expand it? We've seen it at times. A lot of it's game script dependent. They were throwing a lot early in the year. They were also giving up like 70 points a game at one point. So it's going to be a, put, a give and take. I still think when I look at the Broncos, I'm not that worried about it because I don't think I need that many points. Uh, find your timely opportunities, maybe an interception or two. Take some get, get these guys in space, out of the backfield. Don't run straight ahead. Take your shots with Sutton. Take your shots with Judy. And we're going to be just fine. I just look at this two teams not even going in opposite directions. New England is just they don't have the personnel right now. Losing those guys on offense, I think, takes an offense that I didn't believe in to begin with and really puts tremendous pressure on these remaining players. This line is obviously moving, as we saw. Anything in this range, I'm fine with. Just make sure you're shopping it and not laying extra juice where you don't have to. Every little bit counts, particularly when we're talking about NFL lines, efficient lines. All that stuff is extremely important. But I'm going with the Broncos tonight. I will be laying the points in this game. I think they get it done, and I think this could get out of hand pretty quickly. Uh, don't be surprised if New England really struggles in this spot. So Denver Broncos on the board, my favorite bet from Sunday night football. Now, before I leave you, of course, the holidays. This is one bet. If you want, I was saying college basketball has been good. College basketball was great yesterday again. Uh, come on in. If you want more, if you want more opportunities, tools, Discord, picks, access, all of it's under one roof now, part of Odd Chopper Premium, and we're giving you 33% off because it's the holiday season. Come on now. Uh, the link is below. Just use that code GIFT. Uh, it doesn't get better than Christmas Day. So if you want to get in there before that, just sign up. It takes a couple minutes. And when you get in Discord, say what's up. I can show you around. You need to learn how to navigate the tools. We have tutorials, 
all that type of stuff. See if this works for you. That's all I say. Come in for the week. And if you don't like it, you're talking about uh, around $10 for the week. It's a good opportunity to see if this can take your betting to the next level or you just find a community that you really enjoy or all of the above. That's where here, what we're about at Odd Chopper. If you have any questions at all on anything, at JazzRazDFS. And as I say every day now, just enjoy the holidays. Be safe. Have fun. I hope wherever you are, you're enjoying yourself, uh, whoever you're with. Just really, really soak it up. And let's hopefully end this season, end this year uh, on a high note in the betting streets. But for me, for the Denver Broncos and for all of you guys, have an, a great Christmas Eve. And I'll be here in the morning for Christmas Day. We'll do a little Christmas Day action. Hopefully set the stage for a profitable holiday. Enjoy the game tonight. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.